the beginning of the goodbye. Anglesey has been home to the Duke and Duchess for three years and as Prince William prepares to take his career along with Kate and Prince George to pastures new, time to say farewell and thanks for having us. You again. <laughs> You're so naughty. I just keep going and going. It was by no means a quick cheerio either. The Duke seemed keen to thank everyone at the Anglesey show. And everyone wanted to ask him about Prince George, including me. It's clear that the Duke and Duchess have felt very much at home here in Anglesey and have enjoyed the privacy that Anglesey has afforded them. And to thank them for that, Flight Lieutenant William Wales switched to Welsh. Thank you, Anglesey, he said. We are proud to have lived here, the mother of Wales. Then back to his mother tongue for a message from his wife and son. But she and George would have loved to have been here. He's pretty loud and, of course, extremely good looking. I have to say that I thought search and rescue duties over Snowdonia were physically and mentally demanding, but looking after a three-week-old baby is right up there. Marriage, then fatherhood, now the Duke's contemplating a career change. With 22 Squadron based at RAF Valley, co-pilot Prince William has flown countless missions and helped save many lives. I just wanted to say thank you for asking me last year. Was it, was it you? Yeah. Was it from the beach in our yeah. last yeah. Was it? Um, yeah. 17 year old Sharon West got to thank the Duke in person a year after getting into trouble at sea. It's clear the Cambridges will be missed when they leave. They've really, Angles has really embraced them, you know. And it's like being a second home to them. So it's like part of the family, really. So we're giving them, I think, what they were looking for, peace and quiet for their early marriage life. <laughs> the Duke's likely to now attempt to balance his work life with an increase in royal duties. What's certain? That won't happen from Anglesey. They just hope the royal next-door neighbours come back to visit. Paul Harrison, Sky News.